guys, I wanted to do a video about how I make money on YouTube. I did an old one of these a couple years ago, but I kind of wanted to update it. I have a lot more followers now, which P.S. Thank you for subscribing and thumbs up if you like this video, but I wanted to let you guys know about how you can make money on YouTube because this is one of my most commonly asked questions. So I'm going to go through ads and all the different ways to get sponsorships and how you define your rate and also the difference between sponsored videos and just getting free things. So let's jump into it and I will link everything that I'm talking about down below. So ads, it's not the way that most people earn a lot of their income. For me, I probably earn on a good month, maybe like 30% of my total income, which got it fluctuates literally anywhere from like $500 from ads in a month to on a really good month, like maybe 2000. You know what I mean? Like it's, you can see it fluctuates so very, very greatly. Um, so it's not a very dependable source of income, which is why when you're a YouTuber, you have to be the one a lot of the times to go out and hunt for your money, which leads us into the second way that you can earn money, which is sponsorships. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. And first of all is companies coming to you, which is why it's really, really, really important that you have a business email. So it's really easy to go through all of your emails, use it only for business stuff on YouTube, and you can just kind of sort through what you think works for your channel, what rates are fair, all that sort of stuff. And it's all in one really easy place. And then there's other things like um, you can go out and contact a company, you can ask to be put on their PR list, and then there's also websites like Famebit that connect you to brands that are looking to have videos, and they have like their prices that they're willing to pay and everything there. I'll link Famebit down below, and I use that one. I also use uh, Revfluence, uh, Relio, Grapevine. Um, I think those are the four that I've used to get sponsorships before. Let's quickly talk about the difference between a sponsored video and getting free stuff. So really the main difference between getting free stuff and a video that's sponsored is sponsored videos have payments. Sometimes they have contracts, sometimes they have talking points, but really you're getting paid for including a product or a service in your video and you're sharing that with your audience. That's that's the whole difference. Free stuff like Clinique is nice enough. They put me on their PR list. I get some free stuff from Clinique. I can talk about it. I cannot talk about it. They don't give a fuck. I have it there if I should need it for a video. And then there's things like uh, Love With Food. I do unboxings for them. I work with them and I get paid for those unboxings. And the way that you can always tell if a video is sponsored in the description, if someone trying to be sneaky about it a lot of the times it'll be at the bottom everyone always always must say this video was sponsored just to comply with FTC guidelines or else they're breaking the law so let's talk about rates for videos because a lot of the times when companies reach out to me they'll ask for my rate card which is basically how much do you charge for a mention a dedicated video um, an Instagram post a Twitter post whatever so for me like Twitter and Instagram stuff that's just usually part of the whole thing I usually tweet it out. I put a picture on Instagram saying, hey, new video, check it out. And it's just kind of like a free thing. I really only personally tend to charge for mentions and for dedicated videos. And when it comes to things like setting your rates, you can look at websites like Social Blue Book. It'll tell you kind of more or less what you can ask for. And it's appropriate based off of your subscriber number and your views and all that sort of stuff. Um, but for me, I do charge differently depending on if it's a mention, which is like, hey, this ponytail is my favorite. Have you guys checked out this ponytail? If you want to see more about it, check the link below. Anyways, getting back to the video, like that's a mention, it's not taking the entire video. And then there's dedicated videos, which I guess an example of that would be the Adam and Eve videos that I post. Like I work with Adam and Eve on those videos, I get all of my sex toys from them, and then I produce them and put them up on the internet for you. And I charge differently for a mention and for a dedicated video. Again, you can use other websites to determine what your worth is, but I do think it's important to have an idea of what you're worth because companies, I mean, they're out to make money too, so you don't want to be ripped off. Okay, so my battery's dying. Let's speed this up. There are also outside websites that you can earn some income from. Patreon is a huge one. It's blown up like crazy. I have a Patreon too. It's like a crowdsourcing website, so, you know, if you like my channel, then you can go down there and check out my Patreon and look at the rewards and see what kind of tier you want to be at. So, for a certain dollar amount a month, you 
get Skype calls and stuff like that. And it's just a really cool way to support my channel and connect with me on a different level. Um, so you get paid out of that monthly. And then there's also things like um, YouNow or other live streaming websites where you can connect with your people and they also can like purchase things and tip you or you get paid by the company in some cases. So there's lots of different things that you can do to earn money on the internet, you know. But I think this is pretty much all of the basics off of YouTube and then the other ways that I earn money. I would say for anyone who's thinking about getting into YouTube as a job, have a passion for it. Because if you don't, if you're just getting in here to be like, it's easy money, like what do you do? You sit in front of a camera? Like no, you have to hunt for your money. You have to hunt for companies that are actually valuable for you and for your channel and things that you and your audience are all going to respond to and you have to like find a balance between like selling out and actually earning a living and it, it's just it's like a balancing act you know what I mean like you have to go out and hunt for your cash you have to work so 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 hard it's not an easy job it's a super fun exciting wonderful job but it's not something that you can just like do for an hour and then you're good for the week you know what I mean like it's a real job so you can earn a living from it you do have to work hard for it but those are the ways that I have earned money from being on the internet for over eight years, almost nine years, you guys. This is crazy. But um, I will link everything down below, my Patreon, FameBit, um, RevFluence, all of the things that I've mentioned if you want to check them out or if you want to support me on any of those, they are all down there. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any other questions or tips down below and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.